What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you having a fantastic day. My name is Rose here and today's video I've been hyped for legit two fucking days because this is when the idea came to mind. And the reason I am so hyped for this is because I have not seen anybody else do a video like this and it hypes me because I feel that I actually, you know, finally got something for once or, you know, uh, I'm on the right path now. Maybe there is something today and I just haven't seen it or whenever you watch this. But me, when I first thought of it, I did not see anything. I swear on my fucking life. So if I die, then I fucking, I, you know, that was wrong. But anyways... No more bullshit, we're going to go ahead and just get straight into this video because you already know what this is about and this is going to be the possible Blood of the Dead storyline. Now if you do not know what Blood of the Dead, quick recap, which uh, first off, if you are here and you do not know what Blood of the Dead is, I don't know how the fuck you saw this video. But anyways, Blood of the Dead is a remake of Mob of the Dead from Black Ops 2, but with our four favorite characters. Now the reason why is because... Just kidding, I'm not going to get there yet. I'm going to go ahead and start off the storyline with Revelations. Now, at the end of Revelations, when you, you know, kill the Shadow Man and everything, you are supposed to have restarted the cycle. But this cycle is forever and ever, no matter what, except possibly whatever happens to Blood of the Dead. Now, at the end of the cutscene, we see that our characters end up fading away, although they have the blood vials from our original Mob of the Dead characters. Now, that goes to show that something straight messed up with everything that they tried to do. Now, I'm going to show a quick clip right here so you guys can see what's actually going to happen and what I'm going to explain in just a sec. You're late. Doctor. Doctor? Is there a problem? Two for each of them. Survival depends on it. Ah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Ah, so much to do. Vessel for Maxis. The opening of the gateways. Are you sure you're not getting confused? Ah, you'll be needing this. The Cronori. But I've already read it. Read it. Again. What is the meaning of this? The pages have changed. They our blood, mine blood. You cannot possibly expect me to let this happen. You son of a bitch! Let me guess. You're not gonna let us in on what that was about, or explain why you have people in freezer. So at this point, I'm going to start making this kind of a breakdown uh, part of the video. So what happens if you do not understand what just went down? Um, these guys actually are very aware that they are stuck in the cycle, which, you know, in the past cycle that they went through in Revelations, they know it happened. That's why they tried to stop it. So with this, they know that that past cycle, what they tried to do to end it, did not actually work. So what we have here is two different Richtofens. One Richtofen that knows what's going on and the other one that more than likely has gone through more cycles than these guys have. Now when he says you know go on two for each of them you remember go, go ahead now the reason why this absolutely shows us that they know what's going on and they remember what's going to happen or at least rick toffin does so with these blood vials these are supposed to you know obviously like he said survival depends on it but that does not mean shit to these guys because they know that although with those survival depends on it they have to go through and do everything that's correct for the cycle to end in order for those to actually work. Because we saw in the last cycle that they didn't help whatsoever. They helped maybe for a couple of minutes, whatever the cutscene was. And that was the only time that they got to survive. Now, Rick Toffin grabs the book, as you've seen at this point, and looks that the past Rick Toffin ended up rewriting a lot of stuff in, I believe it's called the Chronomium. I think that's what it's called. And the symbols on there, what this is, is about, you know, the summoning Kia stuff. That's Those symbols that are on the front of the book that you just saw a quick glimpse of are the symbols that are on the summoning key. Now, I'm not sure what that at all means. I don't remember what's 
uh like fully in the book or anything but he rewrites everything but the thing is the way he turns around and goes into the portal it does not look like what he wrote in there was the actual truth now obviously it could be but we're gonna go ahead and stick with you know that it is the truth because he has to trust what rick toffin wrote and or rick toffin has to trust what the past rick toffin wrote now we do not get to fully see who are actually in the little uh, cryogenic uh, chambers or whatever those are, but w- you get a quick, or not a quick glimpse, but you get a sort of facial and y- you just get a vision of the head. That's pretty much all you get on the girl that Nikolai looks into. Now, um, obviously, this is not 100%, but more than likely, this is at least 90% true, that that girl that is sitting in there is the girl from Transit. Now, the girl from Transit is a huge deal for this because that part of the storyline actually is part of the storyline. So, freezing them or whatever he's doing, trapping them in the little chambers, are a huge step into hopefully stopping what this cycle is all about. Now... With all of that said, that is probably the only amount of information that I can give at the moment or, you know, the storyline that I have in mind because this is only Mob of the Dead or I should say Blood of the Dead and there's not much you can actually tell or say that's going to happen because, you know, we don't have the map yet. We don't know anything about what's going on and how we're going to escape from this island. But obviously I would think it's pretty much the same as Finn and them did. But there would probably be a little bit of a twist to it, considering it's the entire same map, you know, most likely, except maybe a couple of rooms are cut off or something, then more than likely everything's going to be the same where you have to build a plane and everything. So I I don't want to say any more because I don't want to start, you know, stuttering and stuff like that because I don't know exactly what else to say to the storyline. But everything that I just said is everything that I have in mind. Now, I do have one more piece of information that i'd like to give y'all and that is a quote from noah j456 i'm pretty sure everybody knows about him and i'm gonna give it right here real quick give me one sec now this is from a his revelations easter egg cutscene breakdown when he got to the premise section and started talking about somebody that deciphered a you know a cipher and this is the full quote from what he said an unknown character being the last of us, but will soon be joining them as he is dying. He talks about hoping that their actions don't bite this universe in the ass, and that Dr. Monty won't be able to find them now that they're all dead, and how the children will be safe now that they are dead. Now, that I cannot actually tell y'all what that fully means, but this is obviously something to do with premise, our main characters, and this unknown character has to be somebody... I would be guessing somebody fully new. But considering that we saw the old characters from Transit, an unknown character might just be one of them and that we are expecting to get in this map. So I'm not fully sure. And that's really all I have to say. I really hope this video was informational. And if it was really terrible and you make this to the end, then I apologize. I tried to explain it as best as I could. But hopefully it was good enough for you guys to actually get an idea of what I'm trying to say. Now, I'm not a professional zombies cutscene breakdown you know, professional, so I can't actually, you know, go through the entire trailer and tell you guys what each little thing means, what each number means, what each degree of their nose points when it's north or some shit, just, there's no way I can do that, so hopefully everything that I said was able to get through to your head, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here, I'm gonna leave the cutscene at the end of this video so you guys can watch it, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a thumbs up, and if you don't mind, click that subscribe, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. For stumbling around in total darkness part of plan, you give us the fire, we'll give them hell. Do not speak so lightly of hell. Easy, Tech. I didn't mean the real thing. Gentlemen, we are here. Where have you taken us? We should be closer to the lab. No matter.
this way, if you please. You're late. Doctor. Doctor? Is there a problem? Two for each of them. Survival depends on it. Ah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Ah, so much to do. The vessel for Maxis. The opening of the gateways. Are you sure you're not getting confused? Ah, you'll be needing this. The Cronori! But I've already read it! Read it again. What is the meaning of this? The pages have changed. They... Our blood! My blood! You cannot possibly expect me to let this happen! You son of a bitch! Let me guess. You're not gonna let us in on what that was about. Or explain why you have people in freezer. We are leaving. So that coordination is asshole. <laughs> to the private beta.